Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Sudona Meadows. President Biden signed legislation today that lifts the nation's debt ceiling, averting an unprecedented default. The bill is the culmination of weeks of high stakes and high profile negotiations on Capitol Hill. While the president is saying in a first ever primetime oval address that it's proof Democrats and Republicans can work together, many on both sides of the aisle are expressing outrage over the agreement. Lucas Tomlinson has details from the White House. President Biden signing into law a bill to raise the debt limit while cutting back on some spending, touting the bipartisanship needed to pass the deal through Congress. Passing this budget agreement was critical. The stakes could not have been higher. The legislation triggering opposition from many Republicans, saying the agreement does not limit spending enough to justify extending the government's borrowing limit. At the end of the day, this is still adding $1.3 trillion of debt uh, to our national debt, burdening my grandchildren, fueling inflation. And while Biden acknowledged not everyone got what they wanted in the deal, some of his allies are expressing disappointment in the concessions made by the White House. This is a bill that weakens us in the fight against climate change. It takes food away from hungry people. It makes students who are struggling on student loan debt locked in harder on making their payments. Approval in Congress relied on centrists in both parties. And this agreement avoided default and puts us on path to pass uh, the appropriations bills, fund the government and go forward in a normal process. The legislation imposes stricter work requirements for food stamps, claws back funding for unspent COVID relief, and also prevents Biden from extending the pause on federal student loan repayments without approval by Congress. We walk away with spending cuts. We walk away with permitting reform. We walk away with work requirements. We're growing the economy, clawing back COVID funds, saving taxpayers money, and limiting the growth of government. America's credit rating may still take a hit. One rating agency says it will keep the nation's AAA credit rating on its negative watch list. At the White House, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News.